Oh, thanks. This Saturday, August 29th, marks 10 years since Hurricane Katrina made landfall, becoming the single most catastrophic natural disaster in U.S. history. The storm affected people across the country, including people right here in Kern County. And 23 ABC's James Johnson joins us now with how that disaster being remembered tonight, a decade later. James? Tim, today I sat down with two people who were there that witnessed the disaster caused by Katrina firsthand. One, a Kern County fire chief helping with rescue efforts. The other, a Gulf Coast native who now lives in Bakersfield. Ten years ago, the nation watched as Hurricane Katrina devastated the city of New Orleans and other communities along the Gulf. As the disaster unfolded, local, state, and federal agencies joined forces to help rescue people in the hardest hit areas of the storm. You know, when you have cars on top of buildings that they, they just floated up and then when the water receded they were left on top of buildings it was just it was unreal. Kern County Fire Chief Brian Marshall was part of a canine rescue team sent to the Gulf to look for survivors. The devastation was everywhere. The water came through instantly uh, with the levee breaks and all that was left was concrete porches. The houses were gone. There, there was no wood, no nothing. It was just concrete porches and dirt. It just disappeared. Homes just disappeared. An area hit hard was Mississippi, which suffered massive damage from Katrina, leaving 238 people dead, 67 missing, and billions of dollars in damages. I was not ready for what I saw. One of those survivors is Billy Boswell, a Mississippi native who now lives in Bakersfield. It turned the Gulf of Mexico. It moved it inland about five or six miles. Everything from the coast inland was just totally wiped off the face of the earth. Boswell was working overseas when he heard what was happening in his hometown. He says all he can think of was his family and getting home as soon as possible. No one had been able to get home to my parents. There was sporadic contact with family members, but no one knew where my mother and father was. To this day, I'm thankful. My parents and folks and all my family, the Salvation Army, the Salvation Army and the Red Cross sort of split it up. Our area was the Salvation Army, and without them people, we would have, we would have never made it. Now, as hard as witnessing the devastation was for both Marshall and Boswell, both have been back to the Gulf since Katrina. Billy Boswell, the man who now lives in Bakersfield, says he plans to move back to Mississippi where he grew up. Jackie. James, thanks.